Thank you for watching Edipedia World videos. This session is dedicated to SAP Business One learning process. This is an introductory session. Let's start with a definition. Simply, the learning is a process whereby a business who has customers who have not paid their payments and they have overdue payments, the business will send letters. Uh, starting from gentle reminders to threatening legal action that can be taken against them so that they can pay their overdue payments. Let's see a typical definition of dunning. It is making insistent demands for the payment of a debt. Dunning in the business context refers to a collection process whereby a business communicates with customers who have fallen behind in paying their bills. Let's understand the dunning process one level deeper. So the degree of the dunning that a business may resort to depends upon several factors. It depends upon the, the amount of the debt, how large is the amount that is overdue. It depends upon the relationship between the borrower and the giver or between the two entities. How is the wrap up between them? It depends upon the payment overdue length, how long the overdues have not been paid. While the payments from client for goods supplied or services are generally processed by the accounts receivable department, overdue payments may be given over to the collections department. The process of dunning would then involve the collection departments issuing several reminders over a period of time to the party from which payment is overdue. Unless payment is received, the pitch of the communication in such cases may get progressively more aggressive with the company ultimately threatening to take legal action and or turning the matter over to collection agencies. Let's see where we can find the running wizard in SAP Business One. We find it in sales module as running wizard. You can see that the running wizard uh, will enable you to create and send letters to the customers that have their open invoices and who have failed to pay uh, within the time range defined. Let's see about the levels of dunning letters. These levels are for a generalized business scenario. So uh, let us assume that a customer has failed to pay and uh, it has been now 30 days that the payments are, have not come. And depending upon the dunning terms and payment terms, the first level letter can be released. So it can be simply a reminder that where you are asking your customer that there is an overdue payment and it has been 30 days since the payment was marked as due. So please contact us as soon as possible. Let's assume that even after 30 days, the customer does not respond well enough. So for the settlement, so the company will send a second letter reminding the customer again that it has been uh, 60 days now that uh, the outstanding balance of dollar uh, 10,000 is there and the balance has yet to be paid. So the, the company is asking either to call them or to write to them to resolve this matter immediately. So when writing a dunning letter, you would want to maintain a strict sense of professionalism, treating your client in a good manner and appealing to their better nature of payment. Let's assume that even after second level of dunning letter, the customer fails to respond appropriately. The company then sends a third level letter where it is more stricter in uh, its tone and it says that dear customer the amount of dollar 10000 is now 90 days overdue we have attempted to contact you to rectify this situation multiple times if you are unwilling or unable to pay the amount due we may face no other choice than to report this debt and begin a formal collection process so there can be even unfortunate circumstances where the customer may even fail after 90 days and ultimately it would be 120 days where the customer has not paid the amount. 
So the fourth level letter can be more stricter and it can be uh, almost threatening uh, to take a legal action against the customer. These levels are can be more or can be less depending upon the business to business scenario. Let's see about the Dunning in SAP Business One. The Dunning Wizard enables you to create and send letters to the customer that have not been paid and uh, those customer who have not paid their debts before a specific date and remind them of their overdue payments. The Dunning Wizard allows you to automatically post service invoices for interest or fees charged with each Dunning letters. In addition, the Dunning Wizard keeps track of customer's payment behavior within the company to deliver this important information to appropriate organizations. The Dunning Wizard applies to open AR invoices, AR credit memos, manual general entries, open and close balance transaction, incoming payments that are not based on invoices. In our next session, uh, we'll understand the prerequisites to SAP Business One Dunning. We'll see the steps of the Dunning uh, within the SAP Business One. Thank you.